Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you this cute little card which actually is made from Cheers to the Year stamp set. So as you know this is um, a Christmas stamp but it obviously has the um, option of doing um, a wedding card or whatever, Mr and Mrs, um, some lovely little hearts and it says and so your story begins. Um, so I thought, well, do you know what? I, I want to step away from Christmas because that's all I've been doing and it's nice to do something just a little bit different. Um, my dog's playing. I do apologise. Um, so I decided to use this to make a wedding card um, and this is the one I came up with. Now, um, obviously a lot of people nowadays like to have what I would call a natural wedding. Um, you know, very natural stuff with um, twine and burlap and doilies and a, a very traditional, I suppose, um, wedding. And so I thought, well, let's just have a go at making a card that way. I kind of had this idea when I started. Um, and I really love the way it came out. And then obviously I just stamped the, the little um, uh, sentiment just inside there. So I'm just going to show you how I did it. So I started off with some Sahara sand cardstock, which, um, as you know, for my cards is an A4, scored in half and cut in half. Um, and this is um, a normal book fold, which is the same as this one, as opposed to a tent fold, which opens that way. Um, so I've just used the little hearts here, uh, which are there. <coughs> And I just simply lined them up on my block. So I put my block on my grid paper so that I've got that straight line. And then obviously getting my hearts to be the right way as well. And then I've just placed them on my block. So I've got Sahara sand, tone on tone card and ink. And then I just simply, there's me twisting the block look, started to stamp just a few in the corners, my dog's trying to play and nobody's listening to her. I just did a random one up in the top corner just because I thought it would look quite nice. And so I've just, like I said, just stamped a few into the corner there, which I'm glad about that. Or should I say I'm happy about that. So pop that back on there. And then I've got a, all my stuff's here. Let's put that away for a second. So I've got my delicate white doily that's just going to sit nicely in the middle and I have tried to follow the pattern to make sure that it sits straight so obviously I've got this main one with the two smaller scallops at the top and I just simply added a little cross of my snail in the centre there and then as I say I just sort of lined it up that way. Um, and then I've got some of my um, linen, no, jute twine here, which I've used to make my bow. And I just cut a bit off because, to be honest, I've got lots of projects hanging around. So I just sort of prepared this by cutting a bit off. So I just make my bow. So just cut a little bit of the tails off there. And then I need a bit of the jute twine. No, I don't. I need burlap. Goodness me, I think it's time for coffee or dinner or something. <laughs> right, so the next stage is to do this little corner. And I realise that I haven't got any of my card out, so I do apologise. Um, and this has just actually been heat embossed with clear embossing powder and my sequins just fallen off. Um, so... You basically need, and I'm just going to quickly grab some of my scrap card. So there's some scrap Sahara, and then I just need a strip of Whisper White for the sentiment that Mr. and Mrs. Right, sorry about that. So I also need a two inch circle punch for that one. So, let's just put that to one side. So I'm using this swirly one, but I might actually use this one just for a change, just to see what it looks like. Grab my D-block. And you know the drill by now. First the mark nice and juicy. Stamp it on to my card. And I've not used my embossing buddy on this occasion. 
you can tell me off and slap my wrists later if you like. <laughs> and then I've just got some clear embossing powder. So I'm just going to sprinkle that over. I do like embossing. I do think that it just adds something, just something a bit different to your projects. So heat tool and obviously we just need to heat this up and I think the nice thing about the clear um, embossing powder as well is that it just sort of gives that wet effect to be ideal for raindrops um, and things like that but I just think that this looks great Let's spin it round so I don't burn my fingers last little bit there so that's that one done my two inch circle punch which is just the right size for this one so I just need to line that up so that's that bit done so I'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals onto the back of there so I always with a circle I always tend to do a triangle of them on the back I'll just take those off, bring my card back and this just fits nicely in the centre and then I need some tear and tape to put on the back of my burlap I've got it right this time <laughs> so I just stick that on there and then pop that over the centre. I'm going to grab a glue dot and stick my bow on at this point. I'm just going to stick it there and then I just need to do my Mr and Mrs and then my um, sequins. So for my Mr and Mrs um, embossing powder everywhere so I've just got this scrap piece of Whisper White but I can see that that bottom line there is straight so I'm going to use that as my gauge. So I've got my Sahara Sand and I want my... did I clean that? Put that away and I'm just going to use my D-block because it's out to do Mr and Mrs. So like I said I'm just going to line it up towards the bottom which I'm happy with that and then I just use my trimmer to um, trim it ironically um, but I'm going to give myself a little bit more room this time to do the um, banner tails if you like I didn't leave much room that side did I um, and I just want to trim that edge and then all you need to do then is just to grab your scissors and as I say I've not left much room this end just find the centre and trim like that and then do the same this end but I'm actually going to trim that down a fraction because otherwise it will look odd and I just, you could obviously use the triple banner punch for this as well, but I think with small pieces sometimes you just need to use scissors. So there's my banner, which again I'm just going to use fuse actually because I want it to stick to that burlap well. So I just need to tuck it under the bow and stick that on there. And then to put these sequins on, they are a little bit fiddly, I found, and a little bit of a nightmare. So, metallic sequin assortment, beautiful sequins, piercing tool, because I, I wanted to use glue dots, which are fine when you're using these big um, sequins, because you can obviously use the glue dot and stick it on. But for these small ones, you can't. 
you can't use um, glue dots on that. So I'm just going to zoom in. What I did was just zoom in a little bit. So I used my silicon mat, my fine tip glue pen, and I just put a small blob on my silicon mat. <coughs> Bailey! Excuse my dog, I don't know why she's barking. And then, oops, I then looked for what I wanted. So let's go for that small one there. So I just literally touched the tip of the glue to pick it up, touched it into the glue, and then placed it onto my card. And I did that with all of them. Just picked up a little bit of glue and stuck the sequin on. And let's go with the silver one. So just pick up some of that glue. I don't know why my dog is barking. I do apologise. She's being very naughty. It's probably because I'm not paying her any attention. That's generally the reason why. And then and then obviously if you want to stick a big one, you can either go with a glue dot or I can't pick this one up. There we go. I've got about 20 others here as well now. So I just tiny bit on there and then just picked it up and stuck it on my card. And then I just used a bit of a tissue just to wipe off my piercer and my mat and then obviously leave it to dry because the tiniest little bit of movement will affect these sequins and they'll just fall off. So you just leave it to dry and then you have your finished card. A really cute Mr and Mrs card um, made out of a Christmas kit. Amazing isn't it? Hope you've I hope you've enjoyed um, my card today and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!